Good afternoon. So the box is updated. Uh, changed the launcher. It had a, uh, a launcher downloaded on it. Uh, it wasn't very user friendly. So I just put it back to the uh, original launcher that came with this box. This box is an X96. It's running on an S905 chipset, I believe, which is pretty good. Uh, this is a good box. It's got uh, two gig and uh, two gig of RAM, and then 16 gig of ROM, writable, usable memory storage. The browser again. Uh, this browser here shoots to a different browser, and you got to kind of enter the ULR and all that nice stuff. But right in here, you can go into your apps and you've got Chrome so you can go and use that as a search engine uh, that's about that so when we're in apps here I'll just go through this now I've installed a CC cleaner the CC cleaner is just to optimize your system here you'll kick that in every once in a while and uh, you start getting something glitchy you'll just uh, go through this and uh, use the CC cleaner to clean your memory and all that nice stuff. It's like Windows defrag optimization. And then I put CPU-Z on here. CPU-Z, I just needed to check out all of the specs of the system. So it's got a ARM Cortex, like I was saying, that the uh, SOC, the chipset. Uh, it's got a Mali 450 GPU that's to render and uh, do all the nice stuff with the graphics. The device is uh, like I said, an X96 Mini. It's powerful. It's, uh, you know, it's not as powerful as, uh, say, an iPhone 8, but it's probably sitting around somewhere like an iPhone 4. Or, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's good technology. Uh, the system is running on an Android 7.1.2. So that there, uh, updated it as much as I could. Uh, everything's cool there. Android 7.1.2 still got a few bugs in it, you know, every once in a while something stops and you got to get out and all that stuff. That's that's your operating system, the firmware. Uh, they'll probably be fixing that here shortly. So other than that, uh, you got Google, you got IMDB, International Movie Database. So that's just checking out different movies and what it grossed and, you know, the two thumbs up and all that stuff. So. Uh, you can have a look through here. Quick support, uh, quick support here. If you were to have trouble, uh, you could inbox me or give me a call or whatever and uh, fire this quick support up and then I would be able to remotely get onto this box from my laptop and see what's going on and uh, possibly reinstall or refix something. So don't be afraid to give me a call. Uh, all of the other stuff you're familiar with. Okay, uh, down on your main icons and you're, you, you're used frequently. So you got free flicks here. It's a movie database again. It's like the terrarium and uh, Cody. You know, this stuff here, this technology here, it, it replaces Cody. Cody is running at maybe a 40% of what it was last year and it's due to a whole bunch of legal issues and the law going after the developers and all of that stuff. So. I would recommend that you use these uh, APKs more than you would to use Kodi. So one box here, one box is uh, you know a movie database. You just click on it and play the movies. You know show box. You use the show box. You know you go up here to the three lines and you know, click on the movies and uh, now the movies come up and you can click on a movie and then once the movie's there you'll get an ad every once in a while which is all right for the for the uh, program getting it for free so you can get it watch it in 480 or 720 uh, you know you just hit the watch uh, if you don't like the clarity at 480 then use the 720 uh, you know 720 1080p with our internet service up here you might get buffering uh, if you are experiencing buffering and you're you know it's getting the best to you there you can just press pause on a movie for about a minute or so and then let it go and it'll sync and get up. So now that's the movie there. So cool. That's There's tons of movies in there. And then Terrarium, Terrarium, you know, uh, Terrarium is still running. Uh, the developer did take a break here for the last three weeks, but I expect he'll hopefully get going again here soon. TV Zion. TV Zion is a new one that I installed. And uh, <clears throat> this 
is pretty slick. Uh, you've got all your TV shows here. Click here, you've got all your movie shows. You know, and then you click on a movie and bang, you're in. You, can, you know, it's, it's free stuff. Uh, get out of here again. And I put on a live TV app. You had Modro, Mobdro on here, and now I put on Swift Stream. Swift Stream just taps into any live TV that's out there in the world right now on the internet. And, uh, you know, wildlife. So, you know, you've got National Geographic, H2, Nash Geo Wild, everything here. So, this is all cool. You know, it's all free. So, have a go at it. Uh, check it all out. You know, uh, uh, Mobdro here again. Mobdro has got tons. You know, like you get into the channels here. Uh, so you hit the channels, you know, you get Spike, Home and Garden, Discovery, slide around here, you get National Geographic. You can't turn your mouse on here, you gotta click around because uh, it's not mouse friendly. Well, you may be using your remote, so it's a different story. And then Spike, and then, you know, you've got everything here, all the movie channels, Hustler TV, you know, you got everything in here, so have a go at it. Uh, Again, you know, you want to watch the news, you know, click on the news here, and then you're getting into CB, CNBC, NBC, you know, CNN. Uh, now this just taps into the little sync. Uh, it takes a couple seconds here to sync with our slow ass internet. Sorry about the language there, but this is going to get a little clearer. And then it goes from there. So you've got all the news at your fingertips, you know. Uh, the sports, same thing. You've got all of the sports channels here. Everything and anything. This is one of the bis biggest and best compiled libraries out there right now. It's on Mob Drill. Uh, check it out. And then you can slide over here and you get other, you know, you get right, everything, you know. So I'll look at all this stuff. Mob Drill is one of your bigger ones for live TV and Swift. Uh, all your movie channels are here, so you, you know. And then KD Player. KD Player connects you to Cody. I've updated Cody to 17.6. Uh, go into add-ons here. So it's gonna look different than what you had before because somebody put a big build on here and builds and smaller systems like this uh, with the 905s you know they'll run you know there, there's no doubt about that but uh, any link gets disconnected or anything it affects so much down the line so I re I rarely use a build or rarely recommend using a build because of that right now you know uh, Cody is so uh, is changing so much and everything that you know you got to really watch so now you go into the add-ons here in Cody, excuse my mouse, and you've got all Sports Devil, you know, Maverick TV, Monster Munch. These are the these are the working ones right now. You won't see Banu, you won't see uh, Covenant or Exodus or anything like that. Those guys went they went by the wayside right now because big networks like dish and netflix they're trying to sue them because they're making these programs that go and get their free internet basically you and i could do this without cody on a laptop but it would take us two hours to dig and search to find that link for that movie but these guys have it all put together here with these programs that go and do it for us so cool uh and then that's it you know, uh, you don't have to fart at the settings, you just back out, you get here, and you get out of uh, Cody that way. Uh, this is, is running fine for you, uh, and uh, everything else is going well there on this. So every once in a while you'll click clear the memory here, and it uh, boosts your system and keeps it clean. Uh, the Cody program itself, I put a auto program in there so it'll automatically clean Cody and update Cody so you don't have to worry about Cody, Cody sitting in here. Google Play Store, I put an account on here. 
What's an account? Well, an account is, uh, you know, like Apple needs the uh, Apple ID, so it operates properly. It gets all of the updates and everything. Well, these things do as well. So I put a setup30 at Gmail. That's a generic one I use for setting up these boxes. So there's like 40 other people on that. That uh, it's not going to be dangerous, or you're not accessing, or nobody's going to be able to access your data. Uh, but you could remove this account and then add your own Gmail or Hotmail, you know, uh, and go from there uh, to it. But it needs an account associated to it. So you can go into settings and then you go down to the bottom and you add your account and remove this account if you wanted to, you know, separate that. So. That's about that. Uh, it's, it's it's a good box. It's going fine, and uh, you know you hit favorites up there, and you can change this screen around a little bit so you can add you know different things on here. You don't want that, or, you know wherever the green check mark is, uh, you know it'll add that stuff to your favorites here. So these are kind of going to be your favorites, and uh, you know play around with it, check it out, back out. So it's at the home and then the favorites. That's that. Happy viewing. Any questions, give me a call.